What's up guys, Matt and Max from the Full Boost team and today we are back with our latest hacks video and as you can see it is goalkeeper hacks today. So how to make the ball stick to your hands so you never drop it again and turn into David De Gea overnight and first things first, massive shout out to Ultra Football for sending us all these gloves. If you guys want 10% off, then go over to Ultra Football and use the code FBUK10 for 10% off. But let's get right into the hack. So guys, the way today is gonna work, we've got several different types of hacks, which we're gonna show you to make your gloves even more grippy. We've got a couple of professional products and then our own very budget ones, but we're interested to see if this can actually have a positive impact on the grip of a glove. Now, the first one we've got is the Keeper Balm Goalkeeper Glove Conditioner. So we're gonna put this onto Max's first pair of gloves. We're then gonna do three challenges. So the three rounds in that challenge are gonna be a clip, you get two hands to catch, a high ball, two hands to catch, and the final one is a one-handed catch. So you're gonna get a score out of three for each hack, and Max is also gonna come in and give his own opinion out of 10, the score he's gonna give it. So Max's goalkeeper gloves have got their keeper balm on. And remember, as I said, three rounds. First one's gonna be the clip. Two hands to catch for the first one. Nice, one from one. This time, it's gonna go higher. Two from two. The keeper balm is working so far. This is three from three, and this time it's gotta be one-handed. Doesn't matter what hand, just one-handed. And the keeper bomb gets a score of three out of three for the rounds. But Maxi, this is your time to shine now. Out of 10, what would you give it? Keeper bomb will give a solid six out of 10. It's a professional product and it definitely shows. Let's move on to the next one. So guys, hack number one was an absolute smash. That was the keeper bomb. And one thing that I forgot to mention, if you want any of these professional products, then check out the description below. All the links are there. So make sure if you're a keeper, you want some more grip, then check them out after watching this video. But hack number two, this takes inspiration from a professional goalkeeper using a budget piece of equipment. Shay Given, one of Newcastle's legends, what he used to do before every single game was put Vaseline and water on the gloves. He said it made them so, so sticky, which surprises me because Vaseline itself is actually quite slippery. So I'm gonna put some Vas on Max's gloves and then do the three rounds again. So Max's gloves now have the vas on them. He's ready to go with the shea given technique. And once again, three rounds, first one, two-handed. You ready? Let's play. Nice. Vaseline's working. But number two is the high catch. You ready? Shea given will be very impressed. Round three for a clean sweep. One-hander. There we go, Maxi bring it in again. So that Vaseline technique gets three out of three as well. So, so far we're flying, but in terms of your opinion, a top level goalkeeper, what are you saying about the Vas? Probably give it a five out of 10 overall. I can see how it would work for Shea Given, but not for me today. Guys, Maxi is flying right now. He's caught every single one, six from six, but this is where it gets a little bit more budget. We've had a professional product. We've had Shea Given's personal technique, but this time it's the football boots version. Now, so far, We've talked about sticky grip, but we're gonna change it up. We're now gonna be talking about friction using sandpaper. As we all know, sandpaper is one of the roughest materials. So what happens if you put sandpaper on Max's glove palm? So guys, Max is getting his gloves on right now and I really don't have high hopes for this. Max was saying how he can't even flex his fingers because that sandpaper is just too hard of a material. You can't get that nice flex. But we'll see, first one, two-handed catch. Excellent. 
and it slipped through, which means we've had our first drop with the sandpaper. Moving on to round number two. High catch, how's it gonna be? He's done it. So he's called a high one, but dropped the first one, which means he's all on to the one-handed catch to see if it's gonna be one out of three or two out of three. He's done very well. So the sandpaper technique gives a score of two out of three by Maxi. Would this be a technique which you do yourself on your weekend matches? Easily not, definitely a two out of 10, not practical at all. All right, so our sandpaper technique obviously didn't work that well. Max did catch two out of three, but in terms of how realistic it is, it's a big no-no. But this next product is the one which we are very excited to try. Maxi has actually never tried this top level keeper. It is the Glove Glue Mega Grip Formula, and there are so many rave reviews about this product. So we'll give Max's palms a couple of sprays and see if it actually makes a big difference. Guys, this is the one in this whole Hags video which could be the absolute game changer. Max already has said he put the spray on, he put his hands together and the grit is 10 out of 10. But we've still got a three rounds to play, so let's see what happens. Here we go, don't let me down. Stuck, easy. Second one, high catch. Guys, I'm not being funny. I've just picked up this ball and I can feel the mega grip formula on it. It's actually making the ball feel so much more sticky, but let's move on to the high catch. Two from two, light work. Can we get a clean sweep? Three from three, one-hander. Easy, easy, Maxi, bring it in. So the score was three out of three, but what I wanna know is, is this product something that you would choose for your own personal matches? I'd easily give it a 9 out of 10, something I'd definitely use in some of my matches and would recommend to you goalkeepers out there. Guys, we could pretty much end the video there. That mega grip formula literally was the best one so far, but it's not the end because we've still got our own budget versions. Now, when I think of sporting equipment, which is highly grippy, I think about a table tennis bat. So what would happen if we got a bat, took that rubber off and then put it onto the palm? Well, that's what we're going to do on Max's palms to see if we're going to have the same effect as the Mega Grip Formula and also the Goalkeeper Balm. Alright guys, granted, this looks absolutely ridiculous and it's definitely not one that I would recommend for you to do because you're pretty much going to ruin your gloves as well. No matter if it's good or bad, it's going to ruin them. But let's actually test it to see if it is good or bad. Round one, two-handed catch. He's done it, so that's one from one. Not the cleanest take though. I noticed it wasn't 100% clean. High catch. It slipped through. It almost had it, went through. One from two, can we make it two from three? One-handed this time, Maxi. Oh, almost had it, but the means, the table tennis bat got a score of one out of three, and I almost don't even have to ask you if this is something that you want to do, because when we were putting it on, he was frowning, not having it, but what are you saying? Easily a one out of 10, the worst one we've tried so far, makes it worse, I'd rather wear no gloves. So we just worked out that table tennis bats is a little bit of a dead hack, and this next one might be the same. But one thing is, these double-sided sticky pads are incredibly sticky. Trust me, Maxi could put his hand out with the ball like this, and they would still stick on. Now we've got four of them, two for each side, so you're gonna choose where they go, but you only got two pads to use. So hopefully it's gonna mean there's enough stickiness to make sure the grip is actually at 100%. So 
double-sided sticky pads. In my head, it actually does work out. The grippiness is actually very high, and also the sponge material almost feels like the latex of a goalkeeper glove. But three rounds, let's see how we get on. Nice take, Maxi. Round two, high catch. Nice, love that. Can we make it three from three? One-hander. Oh, he's got through. Only a score of two out of three for the double-sided sticky pads. But Max, it's not the worst hack, in my opinion, because you can almost put the pads where you want. Is it something that you would do on there? Not something I'd do, not as practical as some of the others, but not too bad overall. I'd probably give it a five out of 10. All right, guys. Try not to laugh at this one, but we're going to be attempting to put latex gloves over the top of Max's actual goalkeeper gloves. In my head, it kind of works out. The latex gloves in my hand now, they feel quite grippy. So how are they going to be on top of a pair of goalkeeper gloves? To be fair, compared to some other hacks we've done, these might be one of the most seamless because they're quite tight fitting and they're not going to be too bulky, unlike their table tennis bats and also their sandpaper. So let's try it and even get these over Max's gloves for a start. So this one is definitely just a bit of banner. You can see how they're not even tight to Max's gloves. They've even got some little bit of excess going out the top, making them look like the Grinch. Three rounds, let's see what happens. Straight through, zero from one. High catch, don't have high hopes at all. <laughs> Still zero. Latex glove so far is an absolute no-no. Can we finish on a high? Let's have a go. He's flicked it. He didn't catch, which means the latex gloves get a score of zero out of three. And once again, I hardly even have to ask you. Zero out of ten for sure. <laughs> Wouldn't even recommend this to anyone. Not practical at all. Latex gloves, an absolute no-go. And guys, that is a wrap for today's video. You've seen several hacks, but which one has been your personal favorite? I think we can both say that the Mega Grip formula was definitely number one in our opinion. And as I said, all of the pro products, that's the Mega Grip formula and also the Goalkeeper Balm. All the links are in the description below. But guys, that's a wrap of the day. So thanks for watching. Cheers.